Hello guys! Today I'm going to tell you all about the mega paint set from Army Painter. Yes, the Army Painter has expanded its range and, uh, and, 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 and well, quite frankly, it's impressive. Uh, I had done an article uh, a while ago now about all the um, war paints from the Army Painter and how that range was quite small and how the paint separated. Well, the paints actually didn't seem to separate anymore, so that's good. Maybe I just had a bad batch for the article. I don't know, but, you know, they, 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 they do look nice. This mega paint set is uh, an excellent base, uh, an excellent start for any painter, because you, you get all those general interesting, uh, all the general tones that, that everybody needs, such as the, uh, the flesh tones, for example. Uh, you get, you get two, two, of, two of those. Um, the, the, the green skin tones. Um, you get a plethora of very good blues, that, uh, I including this, this one, which is uh, slightly lavender. I haven't seen that one in, uh, in a lot of ranges. You get a purple, because purple isn't really used that much. But you can you can always uh, mix in red and blue to complete. You have several reds. You have uh, orange. You have you have pretty much every color there is. Uh, any, any any generic color you 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 will need. You have a bleached bone. I don't really like the bleached bone in in the army painter. Not because it's it's low quality. It's not, but um, because it's I don't know too red. But it's my personal taste. Uh, by all means, use it. I mean, uh, a lot of I know a lot of people who who like a little red in their in their ivory, for example. Um, you you also have this uh, necrotic flesh, greedy gold. Uh, you have metals, which aren't bad, quite frankly. Um, you have an anti shine varnish, which is a nice touch. And you also have these uh, lovely little inks, which are actually a, a smaller version of the quick shade they have. Um, well, let me show you how, how it covers. Um, I don't have any brushes. Oh, I'll use the ones provided in the box. There's six brushes which are very nice indeed. This one, which is the uh, big dry brush that's for, for monsters, vehicle and terrain. Yes, it's coded. Um, there's this one, which is, it's a, uh, let me show you, under the clothes cam. See, it's a little, uh, sort of a filbert, not quite a filbert really. And of course there are brushes ranging in size for painting your heroes and your rank and file. Let me show you with this crude what this paint set can do. Let's see. Right. This is my palette. It's not a wet palette, it's just a palette. I will not be needing that, but just so you know, there is a little instruction leaflet that takes you through the, the, the very basics of, uh, of miniature painting with uh, several nice pictures of various miniatures from various brands. So they're not um, married to Mantic, as some people have suggested. Um, let's see. I like the fact that they come in dropper bottles. What should we paint our coot with, do you think? I think a bit of desert yellow would be interesting. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, that was... Uh, yes, that's desert yellow. Uh -huh. That would be quite enough. I'm not painting all of it, really. <coughs> In my previous article, I had said that 
the army painter paint had a tendency to separate as you can see it is no longer the case uh, I had also said that it wasn't too covering and that it uh, was a little thin well it's no longer the case either it stands dilution perfectly I think I'll paint that on it still is less covering that say um, than say um, privateer press miniature uh, the, the formula p3 stuff they do but it's quite covering enough and I think it's also quite good for beginners because beginners oftentimes don't dare dilute the paint or dilute it too much so this is something that you can practically paint with right outside the pot really practically not quite but still it's pretty pretty neat just paint a little bit of that here not looking for precision although the brush is rather good another thing I find quite interesting about this paint set is that the brushes are real brushes they they are not uh, something you'll throw away uh, as soon as you're done with them this is th th this paint set is a bit expensive although not as much as other full paint sets I know um, this is something that they, 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 they're not they're not kidding you know they're not uh, doing a paint set uh, and not and including brushes uh, that that you'll throw away uh, in, a, in a in a moment to get real brushes uh, they're not uh, doing a paint set uh, just to let you try things out no this is something you'll you'll keep for a long time especially since in those dropper bottles the paint dries very slowly yes it's it's very neat so let's see I'll use that um, quick shade of theirs it's a quick shade ink I'll use the soft tone let me show you how this works this is a very surfactant um, um, liquid it uh, automatically clings to all asperities uh, it's uh, well, we'll use the same brush why not it is water soluble put a little bit of water in it to to dilute it but you could use it pure and here we go yes I'm actually using pretty much pure there. As you can see, it goes into the recesses and voila, this screwed arm is pretty much done. You see, it's been shaded. It's not much for blending, of course, you don't, don't blend a lot, but for tabletop results, you cannot beat it. You cannot beat that for tabletop results uh, for, a, for, a, for, a, for, 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 for sheer quickness. I mean, you, you chain paint all, all an, uh, an, a whole army like that with that, you know, it's really, really neat. You don't have to dip it in the, in the pot anymore applied with a brush it's 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 much better see look at that it's still a bit shiny but it's nice there now the colors are very vivid but if I had uh, a thing a, a pet peeve perhaps about this this um, this paint is that it's a bit glossy Yes, it is. It is a bit glossy. It is a bit, um, a bit shiny. 
uh, even even when it's uh, completely dried. That's uh, probably because it contains a little bit of varnish or, or something to to allow it to set and uh, so that it doesn't flake because it is uh, a paint designed for gaming. So it's pretty resilient. So that's good actually. But it is shiny. Luckily, anti-shine. They've thought of everything. Let's see what the metals look like. This is gunmetal. You always need gunmetal. Always. For armors, for uh, guns, obviously. This is your run-of-the-mill bolt gun metal, actually. You know, you know the, the like. Let's see what this looks like. There. I think this mix is very good. Yes. The pigments are very fine. Finer than Vallejo. Yes. Let's see how it looks like here. We'll paint this little blade. Perhaps the whole thing here. It flows. Hmm. I love the flow of this. Yes. That's nice. I quite like that. Goes in all the recesses. Which also which also goes to show that well, I should have probably prepped the miniature a little better. Yes, I did a white priming so that we, we can see all the colors very well. You see, I'm not... Uh, if, if, if we're going to test this, might as well test it on a white background, don't you think? Yes, so... So there. Now I'll grab a little bit of my quick shade, the soft tone that, that I used earlier. I could use the strong tone. And, well, it hasn't dried quite yet. But, yeah, I'll wait for it to dry a bit while I tell you about the metals. I like the metals, I've decided that. Uh, this is the weapon bronze. I'll show you. I think they're very vivid and very, very, um, the pigments are very fine. See? It's not grainy at all. Really like that. So, yes, it's pretty cool. I do endorse this product. Well, I don't endorse this because I'm not paid by those guys, but you know what I mean. I like this product. I will use it. Uh, will in all probability use it for further tutorials. Maybe not the quick shade because that's not my way. Although every now and then I might use it. See? The same quick shade, brownish soft tone on that. See what that's done? Pretty interesting, isn't it? And that has been shaded without any of these uh, uh, silly marks of brush strokes or, or, or little circles of pigment, you know, that sort of thing that, that usually uh, are in, 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 in uh, w with most, um, what, what you call them? Uh, most paints, they, they do leave those little circles of pigment if you're not careful. With that, you can be, you know, quick shade was made for that. It's, it's surfactant, it will go in the recesses, practically nowhere else. It will tint without, um, without hiding. This goes, this goes well. You have uh, the soft tone, which I just used, which is a light brown. The strong tone. Uh, which is a brownish, brownish black, uh, quite quite strong. Uh, yes, obviously, and you have dark tone, which is pretty much black. So um, depends on what you're shading, actually. So 
I'm quite happy with that. And uh, this is a surprise to say, the, to say to say the least, because the um, the first time I, I laid my hand on those Army Painter war paints wasn't nearly as good as that. So that's really an improvement, really, really good. Uh, this is an excellent base for any painter, really. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yes, another thing. Those colors do match the range of spray paints exactly. So that's pretty good. You can, uh, you can base coat with the spray paints that way. And uh, there's no discrepancy or anything. So that's very nice. Well, I think we're done here. Yes. If you have any question, put it in the comments. Bye then.